Hi, this is a quick video on how you can get started with Elasticsearch running on your laptop in five minutes or less. This is my favorite way of running the Elastic uh, stack locally to develop or test against it, or even to test drive the features being released in a new version, since every release seems to pack so much new exciting stuff. Now, to get started, we only need to have Docker installed, and here I have my Docker um, instance running locally on my Mac. Um, what we need to do is basically to create a Docker Compose YAML, and we're going to get the Docker Compose YAML file from the official Elastic Stack Docker distribution. All right, let's go and pick up the file, open it up. Let's look at the raw contents, copy and paste it into our favorite editor. Let's create a new file. We have to call this file Docker Compose. Pose.yml, paste. And basically, now what we're going to do is to we need to go and update the file to um, skip the stuff that we don't want to. And don't want to get in, um, invoked. So we'll we'll skip the uh, the secret session section. We will go and skip the volumes. Oops, okay. don't too much. So we'll skip the volumes section. We'll skip the health check as well. Uh, I'm committing, committing the section out, but you can obviously go and just sort of delete it. Um, it's not a big deal. To be able to simply run the stack, you don't really, don't really need it. Uh, we want to keep the dependencies on. Don't really care about the health check. Everything should just sort of work. I think we'll skip log stash altogether. Um, let's skip the beats as well. Bits are nice, but you can leave them on. You can exclude them. That's entirely up to you. Um, I'll probably leave just the APM server because I really, um, I really like to have a look at it. So we'll keep the command. We'll get rid of the secrets and volumes, and get rid of the health check. Now we're going to need the backwards section. And um, we can get rid of the rest of the stuff. So we don't need the volume really. We'll, every time we are uh, deleting and recreating the containers, we'll just get a new store. But you can load the volumes if you want to keep the data. Okay, let's hit save. Now we've got our Docker Compose created with the relevant fragments of the stack that we would like to run. Now uh, let's go back and Give it a go. So the command line to run the stack is basically Docker Compose um, up. But what we're going to do is we're going to set, set a variable that indicates which version of the stack we would like to run. So we'll do Docker Compose up. And hit enter. And um, now it's obviously starting the Elasticsearch and APM server. And once it's done, we'll see uh, we'll see Kibana running. Now, um, first time you're running it or first time you're downloading containers for a particular version, it'll probably take you a few minutes to um, just to load the Docker images from the central reporting repository. But um, I have all the Docker images initialized in my case. So I think it's kind of ready to go now. So let's go and open our local Kibana. We can go and say, um, localhost 56 port 5601 and here we have Kibana. All right, we can go and actually play with some um, Kibana. So we now have Kibana running locally. We can go ahead and load up, load in some data, and we can we can we can try things out. We can go ahead and explore machine learning or new um, APM capabilities. Sort of log, log the data into, into Kibana um, and um, 
have a bit of a look around. Here we go. So we've got Kibano up and running with a bit of data loaded into it with visualizations created. Um, and it's a very quick and easy way to get started on uh, just Elastic Stack on your laptop, uh, you know, to show it to others, to show it to your colleagues, um, or sort of just to um, explore the features in the new version. So um, please enjoy. <laughs> 